Hello and welcome to Blue Rock Adventures. Hi, I'm Mari. And I'm Chris. Uh, as, as we told you during our uh, Baja Panga build, we were going to do a walk through the boat. And we're waiting on some uh, work to be done on the trailer. So we think it's the perfect time to kind of give you a little tour of how we finished off the panga. So we're going to start at the bow here and we'll give you a tour of the entire boat and what we did to it, how we set it up, how we rigged it for fishing and for video. So here we go. Okay, here we are at the bow of the boat. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the simple hardware. All this hardware we got on Amazon. So up here we have some folding cleats which were fairly inexpensive but pretty nice they seem fine uh, and we'll uh, put a link to those uh, down below to show you where we got those at Amazon we got our navigation light here and then we've got some simple lockable latches that I'm really happy with actually uh, we got these also on Amazon then inside the locker there we just padded that with some old floor mats and the anchor and uh, you know just our anchor chain and our anchor rope and that's it for the front there. Okay. Next is our forward storage and safety compartment. Uh, basically we just keep all of our safety equipment and some extra things that we'll show you uh, what we have in there in a second. Okay in our forward hatch we have here our various lengths of rope that we have for tying off or anything we need to do tow another boat if necessary we've got a couple of our fenders here for when we dock we've got some extra blue towels here which are always handy to have this is actually our swim step uh, for getting into the ponga I'll show you how that works in a bit and I got my basic tools here with just some extra parts some gloves, some extra wire, some bailing wire, duct tape of course, some little bit of string twine there, extra fuel filter here, zip ties, and more duct tape, and basic the tools that came with our outboard, plus uh, you know all kinds of other tools that I thought you know might come in handy here. Then we've got our two paddles uh, emergency paddles they're collapsible you know they're they are what they are they're not super uh, great paddles but they'll work in a pinch hopefully we never need to use them and then here we've got our safety flares and our three gallons I think two and a half gallon little fresh water jug would take also for emergencies and then inside the forward hatch we have I think five or six life jackets uh, we also keep a dry bag and Marty's going to tell you about what we keep in the dry bag. In a dry bag we basically have a change of clothes for each of us. Um, in case of an emergency we have extra towels, beach towels and that sort of thing you know to keep us uh, dry if we go swimming or snorkeling and also in case of an emergency. Just behind the forward locker and storage area we have our fish box or catch box where we're going to put the fish that we catch on ice okay another item as part of our emergency kit <laughs> it's a little uh little potty that we have here just very basic on a little bucket on the front of our center console, I left some storage here, an area for us to keep our batteries. You can see we have a roll of blue towels there to use. We have a little spot here for some trash or whatever we don't want to blow around the boat. And then on the inside, I tried to keep it as clean as possible. We've got our single use fire extinguisher. We have our battery charger, fuse box, and we have two AGM 100 amp hour batteries and we keep our some of our books and stuff in a Ziploc bag there about the motor and some of the other things that we need and we have a little bit of storage if we need it although we are pretty much using other areas uh, for our basic storage needs. 
On the side of the center console, we've got our throwable life ring. Uh, we just have it Velcro strapped on so that we can get it off in an emergency very easy. I still do need to attach a uh, rope to that, which I will be getting to soon. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tour of the center console now. We'll do a little walk around on that. Here we have a forward light, a deck light, so we can see into the storage hatch and the fish box and anything we need to in the front of the boat. I wanted somewhere secure for the gaff and somewhere that would be out of the way, so I made a simple little bracket to hold it there, which ends up working out real nice. Front of the console where we have our GoPro set up for hopefully getting you guys lots of good fishing action and then I've got my big Nikon camera and lens in there also to capture wildlife it's uh, one of my favorite pastimes is wildlife photography so I'm gonna hopefully be able to show you guys some incredible stuff from the water in the future yeah you can see we have our radio there we have phone holders on both sides which we're actually really happy with they're the uh, silicone stick on kind and they've actually worked uh, better than we could have expected and then here we've got our main station here we've got some switches that have some power adapters in there and our Lawrence unit here with a GPS fish finder. We found some really nice cup holders that we like. They're nice and deep to hold our uh, kind of long skinny water bottles and it attaches right to the side of the T-top and it will not slip. So we're real happy with that. We've got uh, three or four of those on board so we've got a place for everyone to stick their drinks. And then I made this little uh, PVC bracket for one of our GoPro selfie sticks that we can use to show you hopefully some catches that we make in the water get some underwater shots and then moving around to the seating area here we decided to keep the seating to the bare minimum and give us as much room and space in the rear of the boat as possible so that Marty and I can have lots of room to do our filming so we just built this platform here and then the seats will swivel so if we want to look rearward while we're fishing we can do that so under our seats we built a little storage uh, unit we have two cubbies uh, one we use for our fishing tackle so everything's organized nothing moves everything stays the same and on this side we have our first aid kit, little accessories, and also it's a great place to put our lunch in for uh, when we are fishing. Uh, one of our favorite things, and we spent a little bit of money to do it, but we bought uh, sheets of sea deck to put on the floor. The, the floor when the boat was done and painted was slightly slippery, uh, not too bad dry, but when it was wet, uh, I could tell it could be a problem. And we looked at a couple of different options you know, even stuff like shower tape and stuff like that. And as I was researching, I found this Sea Deck product, which is uh, five millimeters of neoprene. Came in, it comes in really cool colors. It's a little on the pricey side, but you know what? I'm really glad that we did it because I feel like now, you know, we can go barefoot, which we prefer to do, especially in the hot summers. And you know, there's no slipping, there's no sliding, and it cleans up really nice. Uh, it's, it's one of our favorite additions to the boat. As you can see, we tried to do a decent job fitting it in here. It's not the easiest stuff to work with, and I'm no carpet layer, but you know, we did okay on it. And after all, it's a ponga, so perfection is never what we were looking for so but anyway we're really happy with the sea deck product we even had enough to put over our gas tank area here and even some on the swim step which so one of the great things about this sea deck product you know is the non-slip nature and it's also got some cushioning so here we can use this as an extra seat for uh, captain jesse or any guests that we have on the boat 
also it provides an area when we get out of the water from the swim step uh, and you're wet that you're not going to slip around on the fiberglass so we're, we're real excited we're real happy about that we think it's going to work out great and we might even get some more to do some other areas of the boat that's how much we like it okay so the next area i wanted to talk to you about was uh, you know organization in the boat is super important to me and luckily for me the last several years i've been fishing out of a kayak and the one thing you learn about fishing out of a kayak is you need to have everything organized everything needs a place so that you don't lose stuff it doesn't fall overboard uh, you don't get caught on it or cut or hooked by a hook or something like that so you know one of the things that's really popular amongst kayak fishermen is using a milk crate as an area to store tackle and you can customize them really easily just with zip ties and pieces of PVC pipe and, and other uh, doodads like that which make them uh, super functional and easy to customize so so that's what I ended up doing here uh, just to have the back of the boat even more organized but have all of our pliers and all that uh, readily accessible but not going to slip around slide around we're not going to lose them they're not going to fall overboard okay so here's our milk crate and it was just a really simple setup and you can see I made it movable so that I can move it anywhere I want in the boat depending on what we're doing although I like it to sit in the back there but you can see I just I made some little uh, PVC pipes to put our bat uh, Put a knife in here you can attach your pliers to the side another knife here for cutting and uh, processing bait I've got a small gaff here we've got our lipper type grip pliers here and even I've got my little uh, hook release for bait I found an old flashlight holder and so I just used that and which actually worked out perfect to hold this no rattles no nothing and then we've got a small little one gallon bucket in here for adding water to the live well or cleaning the deck got an extra set of lineman pliers we got a cutting board for cutting bait and everything stays right where you want it it's great it's an excellent solution i don't see it used very often on boats but it's a kayak fisherman's best friend and so i just kind of adopted it to our ponga here and let me tell you it works out great so in the spirit of keeping things organized we made a little mounting point for our bait net here simple piece of PVC pipe that's fiberglassed right into the hole there uh, the little door on the bottom there is just access for the bottom of the uh, to the pump area for the live well and here we have our live well here you can see it's about, I made the uh, top, uh, I kind of cut it out of the, uh, the regular top that came with the ponga. And it's about 23 gallons, I guess, with a nice sure flow, 800 gallon per minute pump on it. It works just perfect. Okay, next to our live well, we have our fuel tank storage area. So we went kind of low tech on this, uh, which is pretty common here with pongas. And we're just using these, uh, I think these are 13 gallon jugs. And we just use a simple little stopper here and we just trade the line between the jugs. We have, uh, I think a 39 gallon capacity, which is uh, more than we need for probably two days of fishing. The nice thing about having these removable tanks is, you know, we don't have to stop at the gas station with the boat if we don't want to. We can just pull them out and we can throw them in the back of the pickup and we can take them down to the gas station. Also, if we left our boat in a remote area for whatever reason, camping or, uh, or whatever, we could always take these and get these filled up and bring them to the boat not have to take the boat with us so so we kind of like the simplicity of the design and the flexibility that it offers and also if uh, one of the fuel tanks ever has a problem uh, it's cheap just to replace the whole tank so uh, we also installed a small cleat on each side of the center console for tying off the fenders or tying to the dock going down the gunnels 
We just have one rod holder, which is what we think we need because we plan to do lots of jigging and stuff like that. We'll be holding the rod. So these are kind of our main uh, trolling places. And we've got our more cleats at the back here on each side. Here we are at the stern of the boat and I wanted to show you the swim step we got. And we haven't used the swim step yet, but I really like the design of it. I like that we can put the step away when we don't need it, stow it up in the forward locker. And when we want to get wet, when we're going to snorkel or take a cool dip or just want to get in the water for whatever reason, well, we can just get it out. So, so the way this thing works is really simple. All you do is just slide it into its little track here and that's it. She's on. And then it comes with this, uh, little bungee that holds the steps you just release that and now we've got a step that goes down in the water it's very strong supports me just fine and so far I'm really happy with this uh, like I said we actually haven't had the chance to use it yet but I think it's gonna work out just great okay so for power what we did is we purchased a brand new Suzuki DF90 we purchased our Suzuki DF90 right here in Loretto uh, with Martin's uh, tackle and sport fishing I believe is the name of his business they did an excellent job it took them just 15 days from the time I ordered it to get the motor in and get it installed on our boat Okay, well, that's a tour of the new Ponga. We hope you enjoyed it. So far, uh, we have another video, uh, which you can find on the channel, that shows our first trip out. Uh, we didn't show a lot about the boat. We were doing the initial break-in on the motor, and uh, unfortunately, we lost a little bit of footage during that, that run, that first run in the boat. And then when we picked the boat up uh, to come home, we had some trailer issues and we've been trying to get those resolved uh, ever since. It looks like we're just about there on the trailer. So we should be able to bring you some great adventures from the water here in, in just a matter of days. So we hope you uh, enjoyed this little tour of our boat and uh, thank you for watching. Thanks guy, Ho hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon.